Daf Pei Vav Hamad Beis, six lines from the top. We were discussing the sheets of Rabbi Kiva, who holds that there had to be five oinas, five twelve-hour periods of separation, before Matan Taira, because otherwise, if the Isha would be Pelat to Sheikh she would be Tameya. So they it shows you that the fact that the mitzvah of Prisha, the separation, was done Wednesday morning and specifically Wednesday morning, in order to give the oina of Wednesday, the daytime oina of Wednesday as a separation, that five periods, five 12 hour periods are necessary as a separation before we can say that she's Peleta Shechazer, that she's Tahira. Frank Gamora, Avalitolina Benishimshi, Vilkavo Tahira Benishimshi. Well, if that's the case, why wouldn't they tayvel on Friday night on El Shabbos and be makabel the Torah on El Shabbos? From the fact that it had to wait till the next morning, doesn't that show you that you need really six oinas, not five oinas? Amar of Yisrael, Kolim Yerush, B'Seis and Nibati. The Torah says, the Rabbi Yisrael says, I didn't speak to you in secret. It's not at night time. It was a revelation. It was in the daytime, out in the open. So it was necessary for, not because of the Tahara to wait till the next morning, for the purposes of the Matan Torah to be done in the way that the Rabbi Shalom wanted to do it, the Goloi, that's why it was done the next morning. Well, why was the Tefillah done Friday night? If that's the case, there should have been tefillah in the morning, and they could have been mekabel tar in the morning. The fact that Maish Rabbeinu was told the prisha to tell Klal Yisrael the prisha the separation on Wednesday, and the the kabbal satira was only for on Shabbos morning. If there's only five oinus that are required, then why was the prisha have to be done Wednesday morning? It could have been done Wednesday. Uh, evening, Wednesday, late afternoon, you'd still have five oinas and be Tayyavel Shabbos morning. From the fact that the Prisha was done, the separation, they were told to do it Wednesday morning, and the Kabbalah Satira was on, on, Friday, on Shabbos morning, doesn't that show you that you need six oinas and not five oinas? Gemara says no. Amar of Yisroch shelo yeh halolah holchem lekabel tarav halolah holchem letzvilu. The reason is for a side reason. The Rebbeinu Shlom didn't want the people. Some people are going to the make for the bitayil. Other people are going to Mount Tair. He wanted everyone to be coming together to come to Mount Tair all together. So therefore, the tefila was at night time, not because uh, the tefila couldn't have been theoretically that it couldn't have been, it could have been theoretically in in the morning it could have been theoretically in the morning and it could have been theoretically that the prisha was on wednesday afternoon but rabbi shalom specifically according to the according to rabbi kiva specifically wanted to be done in that way that there shouldn't be any distractions when kal yisrael came to mountain taira they should all come together and be focused on kabbalah satira so therefore the prisha was done on Wednesday morning. The tefillah was done on Friday night. Specifically so that they did not have to be tayvel on Shabbos morning when they all went to be Mechavah Vatayr. Amar Rukhiva Rebbe Avi, Amar Rukhiva Rebbe Avi, Amar Rukhiva Rebbe Avi, However he says, that's Rabbi Shmuel Rukhiva, Vachachamim Maimim, the Chum Zu say, that sheish einus shleimus beinan. They say you do with what was required was six einus shleimus, and therefore the reason they say that the reason was done. The afrosh uh, they agree that it was done Wednesday morning. It was done Wednesday morning so that there could be six einus from the time that they had kabbal satara on Shabbos morning, and therefore they say that the uh, were tovel on Shabbos morning and not on Friday night. Amar of Chiz to Machleik Shapir Shemini Yishu. And this Machleik is about whether the Shechuzer is Metama. That's only if it's Pir Shemini Yishu, if it was an omission from a woman. Aval Pir Shemini Yishu, Tmeya calls Man Shehilach. But if it's Pir Shemini Yishu, and it was not within the Me'ishu, it was not within the woman's womb, 
then as long as it's lach, as long as it's moist, then it is metama. It's only considered masriach and not roi lahazria if it's within the body of the woman. Then the heat of the body, the body heat is causes it to become uh, spoiled and be masriach and not be masriach, it's not metama anymore. But if it's not within the body of the woman, then it does not, um, it's not masriach, so long as it's lacha, it's metama. Says any beggar or any garment that has on it shechva zera, so it's tome probably shechva zera she's rucha, which excludes a shechva zera which is rucha. The following pasuk mentions that if there is the relation between a man and a woman, and, and talks about it being with maisabia. And obviously, in that case, it's talking about Shekhar Zer, that's not Masriach because it's during the course of a Maisabiyah. So, this Pasuk also is talking about Shekhar Zer that is not Masriach. So, my love, Shepir Shemini'ish, are we not talking that even though the emission was from the man, also there has to be a determination of its Masriach or not? You're saying that by only from a woman, if it's an emission from the woman, that's where there is a determination, is it Masriach or not? But if it's from a man, then as long as it's Lach, it's, it's uh, Metam, and there's no determination whether it is Masriach or not. Well, over here it says, that by uh, we exclude probably she was there she's through her so my love should pierce him in each more says lo should pierce him in each that is talking about to pierce him in each boy rough up and she was there so he's from make kusi smile so we're talking over here about there was a mice of beer with a uh ishi stroll and a bossy stroll and it's pierce from the woman then it's masriach after a certain point of time what about in, it's in the May Kusis, Mao, what's the din over there? Do we say Yisrael, the Dagi B'mitzvah? So we're saying that the body heat is what causes it to be Masriya. So do we say that that's applicable to a Yisrael? They're always worried about mitzvahs, so there's the, the body heat, and there's, there, so because of, of the, the uh, frame of mind they're in, because they're always nervous and worried about mitzvahs, so that causes greater heat. And the body is heated up. But Akam Deloy Dagi Bemitz is Loy. But Ben Akam, who doesn't have that concern, is not always preoccupied and concern, then it's Loy Chavu Gufa, and it would not be Masriya. Oi Dilmar, do we say no? On the other hand, came in the Akhl Shkatsu Ramatsim Chavu Gufa. Since it's not what's on their mind, but since the things that they eat, they eat Shkatsu Ramatsim, and that causes the body heat, and then it will cause it to be Masriya. The imtim soloimer came and all shkots from Mos Mechavu Gufayu. If you're going to say that that is the case, the each shkots from Mos Mechavu Gufayu, be may behema mau. What about if it would be be may behema in the body of an animal? Each of these like praise the masrachas and each that has a canal, so it therefore it's internal, it's it's concealed more, it's less exposed to the air. So it's Masrachas, I will behemoth the less late for us or loy, but a behemoth that does not have a canal, that's not the case. So we discussed the Machlaikas and whether the preach of the separation before Matan Taira was on Wednesday or Thursday. Now the more is going to go through a lengthy discussion on that issue. Was the preacher was the separation, was it on a Wednesday or a Thursday? On Vav Sivan, the sixth of the month, that's when it was Nitra Taira, Nitra Taira, Lisro. That's when Taira was given to call Lisro. Rabbi Yaisi Amr Beshiva, but he says it was on Zion Sivan, it was the seventh day of Sivan. Omar Rava, the Koli Alma, Rosh Chaydish Asla, Mid Barsina. Everyone agrees that Kali Lisro came to Mid Barsina, it was Rosh Chaydish Sivan. Ksiv Hacha, by Yemaze, Baal Mid Barsina. It says, by Yemaze, on this day they came to Mid Barsina. Ksiv Hosom, Achaydish Haze, Lachem, Rosh Chadoshim. It says, Achaydish Haze, Rosh Chaydish. So therefore, we learn out, Xerisha, by Yemaze, this day, by Yemaze, that they came to Mid Barsina was Rosh Chaydish. Malaham Rosh Chaydish, Avkan Rosh Chaydish. So that's number one. Everyone agrees that they came to Mid Barsina was Rosh Chaydish. And everyone agrees as well that Namat and Tair was on Shabbos. 
How do we know that? Ksiv hachos, zochar es yom ha-shavuz l'kadashoi, uksiv hosem v'yem emoi shalom, zochar es ha-yom ha-zeh. It says, zochar es yom ha-shavuz l'kadashoi. It says, zochar by Shabbos. And it says, by l'gabe, l'gabe Yitzhiya Mitzrayim, v'yem emoi shalom, zochar es ha-yom ha-zeh, remember this day that you went on the Mitzrayim. Mal halam yitzhu mishol yom, just like over there, it's on the day itself. The day itself that they went on Mitzrayim, Afkan beat Sumishal Yayim. So the Zohar has Yam Ashabaz Lakalashai, when the commandment, when the Mitzvah was given to remember Shabbos, it's beat Sumishal Yayim. It's on the Shabbos itself. Keep Ligi Bekvir Diyach. So what is the Machlaik? It's the Machlaik. It's just in the establishing of the calendar of the months. When was, what day of the week was Rosh Chaydesh? Sivan. Everyone agrees that they came to Midbar Sinai on Rosh Chodesh Sivan. The question is, when was that day? Rabbi Yosi Savar Bachar Beshava Ekviyarch. He held that that Rosh Chodesh was on a Sunday. So therefore, that means that they came to Midbar Sinai, according to Rabbi Yosi, on a Sunday. Ubachar Beshava Lo Yamar Lo Vlo Yimidi Mishum Chol Shadarch. On Sunday, they were not given any commandments, any mitzvahs, because of the. They were weak and tired from traveling, so that day they were not given any misses. Betray b'shaba. So the first tzivui that the commandment that they were told they told them was on on Monday. So that's when my Rabbeinu told Kol Yisrael, "Atem tiu, you will be for me a mamlachas kaim v'goy kolish." Bit lasa on the Tuesday, Amr lo mitzvah hakbola. That's when he said the mitzvah hakbola that they had to make boundaries so that the nation did not climb up to Har Sinai. Barba of the priest on Wednesday, so here's the relevant point to our discussion. On Wednesday, that's when the priest of the separation from the wives are told. So therefore you have from Wednesday till Shabbos, there you have the three days of separation. He holds on Wednesday was a priest. Rabban and Sarva they hold betray b'shabzik b'yachad. They all held that Rosh Chodesh was on a Monday, not on a Sunday. So everything, therefore, is pushed off by one day. Therefore, they hold betray b'shabzik b'yachad. 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 And again, the same pattern, the same sequence of events. He held that the first day was the travel day. They weren't given any mitzvahs. So therefore, he held on Monday, nothing was said to them. Because of the travel, but also Amaluvatem Tiyul. So everything's pushed off by one day. On Tuesday they were told Vam Tatem Tiyul. Barbo on Wednesday Amalu Mitzvah Hagbola. Behey Avud Prisha and the separation from the wives was on Thursday. So that is the basis of Machlek. And the more we will go into a detailed discussion about this issue was Rosh Chodesh on Sunday or Monday. 